Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Pavin. I'm an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. We are cruising. We're in season two of Haikyuu and episode one started with a bang. Okay, like the boys invited to the Tokyo practice group. We're gonna see more of Nakoma, which you know I'm all about that. Um, we have got academic troubles. Some of the boys not be, might not be able to go if they don't pass their schoolwork, so we got a little twist. And then Kageyama and Hinata blacked out while they were competing during conditioning and happened to stumble upon Ushuaka, the star player of Shira Torizawa. Now, I didn't like him very much because we got to know a little bit about how he thinks. I wasn't a fan. I love that he's left-handed. I think he's incredibly good looking. His voice is very deep. So, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying everybody thought Asahi was so old, but like this guy, gosh, yeah, that's all. So I don't even know where this is going or what's coming next, but I'm excited because my excitement level on episode one was like through the roof. So here we go. Today, we are gonna watch season two, episode two of Haikyuu, and it is called Direct Sunlight. So here we go. Okay, academic recap. <laughs> so he's just chill and he's like, yeah, I'm so smart. Is he not bad at school? Like, I'm confused. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What is a quiz out of? Kageyama's comatose, like actually dead. Are they all four really bad at school? Like I knew a couple of them, but like they're having a meltdown. And Hinata hasn't received a double digit score on any of his tests. Out of what? If it's out of 100, we've got a problem. If it's out of 50, also terrible. But like, somebody tell me. I'm hoping it's not as dire as it seems. <laughs> That's a big ask. <laughs> it doesn't shock me that those two are smart. Or are doing fine. I love him. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe that's Kagama's problem. Gosh, he is so awful sometimes. I didn't hear you. He can be a piece of work sometimes. I think that's the most I've ever heard her talk at once. She's like the dad.
Oh, Noya just loves the ladies. Ooh, what's Taiko? Is that drums? If it's not drums, I'm sorry. Oh my god, I love that friendship. How is he sitting on his knees on a swivel chair? Goosebumps. My heart is melting. Oh my gosh, she is adorable. Why do they change the commercial break music? I miss the season one music. Her little ponytail. Asahi, everybody thinks he's so old. <laughs> Did Asahi get a perm? Okay, look at his hair. It looks kind of curly. He chopped it, which I'm not opposed to that, but did he get a perm or something? It's just too much. Um, also, I can't even begin to tell you how intimidating it must be for her to walk into the gym and have all of these guys just like circle around and start like staring at her. Poor thing is probably gonna like run away. I mean, her eyeballs are completely white. So <laughs> she's probably very intimidated, not to mention helping Kyoko, who she probably is gonna look up to. Like, <sighs> I hope that she makes it. Okay, that's what I was talking about. Okay. <laughs> 
Oh my god, they worship her. Okay, yeah, see exactly what I said. She's like a little Hinata. Except scared instead of excited. <laughs> oh my gosh, cutie. <laughs> oh, I knew he had a crush on her. Oh. I completely misread that. I kind of saw the hearts in Yamaguchi's eyes when she walked in the gym and thought that he had a crush on her, but looks like he is a smarty pants after all and just suggested that she help him with his studying. Oh, maybe her and Hinata wound up dating. I'd probably pick Hi Kageyama over Hinata, but maybe. Yeah. Yachi, Yaki? Are you serious? Yes. Have you met him? Like foom. Oh. 
なでっかくて強そうなんだでも試合してるとそういうやつらと戦ってるってわかるワクワクするゾクゾクするすごいねそんな人たちと戦うなんてじゃあひなたは小さな巨人だねえ She just said the magic name. Oh. oh my gosh, he wants to be the ace and then the little giant. Oh my gosh. First of all, Yaki, Yachi, somebody help me with the pronunciation. Sorry. Oh, she is a little anxiety ridden. She is definitely overthinks everything, it appears, and is really hard on herself. But it's super cute and endearing. I just hope that she can relax a little bit.、Um, I can kind of see a little bit of myself in her. Yeah. Yeah. She, she, she should just take a chill pill.、Um, but she said that magic word though, little giant. But even Hinata's like, I may be little, but I can fly. I literally almost cried already. We're in episode two. <sighs> This is too good. And I like meeting new characters. One per episode is working for me. Yachi, but they say it really fast. I don't know if I'm capable of that, so bear with me. Oh. That is actually the best analogy of all time. Has anybody been outside in the sun all day and then they get home and they just pass out? That, <laughs> that analogy was brilliant because I would. I have been there. I don't know how many times. I'm assuming a lot of you have been there where you just go outside and then afterwards you're like dead. That's probably what it's like to deal with Hinata and talk to him for that long because he just goes 100,000 miles a minute. Oh my gosh, look at her little outfit. Oh. oh my gosh, if I could smile bigger, I would. Oh my gosh, little star baubles on her ponytail. Poor girl. I'm really worried for her. She's gonna get pelted right in the face. Oh. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. I think it's meant to be. They're gonna end up together, you guys. I mean, <laughs> they are such losers. <laughs> oh, great cover, Noya. You guys, I'll say it again the boys have improved.
Okay, I have to stop it. Oh my gosh, I'm just, I have too many things running through my head. First of all, if you've never been to a volleyball practice before, heads up, you're probably gonna get ripped in the face or something. Um, so I was really worried for her, really worried. And she would have gotten ripped in the face if Hinata hadn't saved the day. You guys, I know this is very early, but like something is speaking to me that they are gonna end up being a couple. I just feel it. Secondly, I said it in episode one, I have never seen Kyoko talk so much and I love that her personality is starting to show. Um, I mean, Noya and Tanaka are just obsessed with her always, but I feel like that obsession level is gonna increase. And third, to see somebody who has no experience with volleyball, like start to learn and fall in love with the game. <sighs> there is no better feeling. That interaction between Yachi and Kyoko was so precious. And to see like her excitement, like start to like Kyoko's excitement kind of start to rub off on Yachi and then like to see like that she's kind of starting to get it and like the the commitment necessary and how the boys are working towards something and just like I think I'm gonna love seeing her fall in love with volleyball that's all I've got that took a long time for me to say that but I was thinking too fast for my words Okay, I know that I jump in and say things like actually 10 seconds before the episode ends, but I get too excited. And I think part of me wants to have the episode last longer. So I just talk, but anyways, sorry about that. <sighs> We're meeting new characters left and right. And I love that. I just really hope that I can keep track of everybody. I think I've done a pretty good job so far, but okay. This was like a build up episode. We had to meet Yachi. We had to like get that background and insert her into the story. So while a lot happened in episode one, this episode was a little bit slower, but the title was perfect. Direct sunlight. I am wiped out. I'm exhausted. I'm overwhelmed. That pretty much sums up Yachi's feelings about everything, but in particular volleyball. She's having a literal meltdown. Um, I think she'll relax eventually once she gets a little more comfortable, but Hinata's doing a great job of like talking to her and like introducing her to volleyball and trying to make, he's not even trying, it's just his personality, being really welcoming. So, okay. I, I don't think I breathed for that whole thing. So now I, I can't. Can you tell that I'm excited? Okay, we're gonna get to see a practice match next episode. I know I've said it a couple times. I think the boys have improved tremendously. So I'm anticipating a real beatdown of this team. Uganishi or whatever it's called. <laughs> but yes, send me the comments. I'm sure some of you will hit me up saying that I pronounced Yachi's name wrong. That's fine. I just want to say it right. But yes, tell me everything that I need to know in the comments below. I would be so excited as always, if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel as we continue cruising through season two of Haikyuu. And you can be sure to check out some more of my volleyball related content. Thanks guys.